What a game we have in store for you today. The hype has been building all week and we're just moments from kickoff. All the action coming live. Stamford Bridge is the venue. I must say the weather has certainly cooperated. It's beautiful here today. I'm Derek Ray, ready to bring you match commentary. And alongside me is Stuart Robson. And it's all about action from the Premier League in this case. It is Chelsea up against Crystal Palace. Well, thanks, Derek, as always. The scene is set, two good teams, a great playing surface and a vibrant atmosphere. It has all the ingredients for a really exciting game. It simply didn't happen for Chelsea in the last game as they lost against Wolverhampton. It's got to be a truly magnificent start. An early goal in the game, just what they were hoping to produce. Well, it's a very simple finish in the end, but his movement was really good. He just found himself a bit of space in the box when it mattered most. Well, the ball is moving once more. How important will that opening goal prove to be? Sterling. Nkunku has it. And Chelsea moving the ball forward. What can they do from here? A fine reading of the situation. Ahamada might work out opportunity here and the keeper really reacted brilliantly well from that sort of range it's a great save I have to say and over it comes well still an issue here fairly easy for the referee to spot that deflection so now a throw in well, some pretty big news coming through from one of the other games. Let's hear about it from Alex Scott. It was Everton that was awarded the penalty. And, and he's in. And still danger here. And he did what he had to do defensively. Well, you can sense a goal coming here, and so can these Chelsea fans. This is so much better. Well, he's such a classy contributor, isn't he, Christopher Nkunku? Stuart, I wonder what you think we'll see from him today. Well, that's a very impressive return, isn't it? He's been excellent, and it's not just been his goals. His all-round players look really bright this season. That's a lovely ball. And it's opening up. He can't hold on to it. And the keeper has it after that tension-laden sequence. Well, what a great first save that was. How did he stop that? Trying to open them up. Can't miss, surely. Klein. Good patient build up as they try to fashion something and whipped into the box. Well, from that position, he really should be doing more to work the goalkeeper. Trevor Shalaba. Mikhailo Mudrik. Alex Scott has an update for us. There's been a goal at Goodison Park. Tell us all about it, Alex. It's a goal from Manchester City. The ball was pulled back from the goal line. He got over it well and was able to keep his shot down. It was a great goal. They're back level. It's one all with 28 minutes played. Many thanks, Alex. Enzo Fernandez. Defence of Brazilians to shut them down. He's very adept at protecting the ball. James Tompkins. Well, the scoreline means they can focus on keeping possession. This is looking threatening. Four marks to the keeper. Well, what a reaction from the goalkeeper. Such a good save in the end. Can he deliver it with accuracy? Well, you can't really have them any better than that. But the goalkeeper was up to the task. Danger averted for now, but it'll be another corner. 
And a good take under duress there. Badi Achille. Well, they're almost extending an invitation to have them come at them. Still behind, but the pressure mounting. I think I spoke too soon. Wasn't the best of passes, finally. Well, I'm hearing there's been a goal in the Bournemouth game. Alex Scott can fill us in. Yep, second one for Fulham. They're ahead by two now. With... Oh, no, what a chance this is. Oh, so near, off the post. Chaloba. Malo Gusto. Mudrik. Could play it in. Opportunity to level it. Well, you have to say he's going to be very cross with himself. He'll certainly be disappointed with that. That was a poor effort. And the first 45 minutes have come and gone here at Stamford Bridge. Well, the ball is moving once more. Not enough went to plan for Chelsea in the first half. Can they address what didn't go right? OK, just hearing the situation has changed in the Brentford game. To what extent, Alex Scott? It's a goal for Brentford. It's now 1-0 with 48 minutes on the clock. Many thanks as ever, Alex. Just knocked it out of there. Good bit of closing down. Well, he's been the standout for his side so far, don't you think, Stuart? Well, I thought he had a really effective first half. Not only did he get the goal that gave them the lead, but his general play was really good. He was a constant threat, and I'm sure we'll see more of him in the second half. Will Hughes. Ezzy. Options in the middle. And play to the front post. And the move breaks down. Trevor Shalaba. Now Chelsea in a position of menace. He's in behind. Oh, superb save. Massive credit to the keeper. Well, he's so hard to beat in these situations. It's brilliant goalkeeping. Can he find the net? Oh, that's top-notch goalkeeping, you've got to say. And angling it back. Oh, they've done it! A goal for Chelsea, who've got themselves on level terms. Well, just watch this again. It's a really good goal, but it's no surprise, is it? They've been in complete control here. So, a level contest. 1-1. Well, I'm hearing a change to the scoreline in the Everton game. Alex Scott can tell us more. It's another for Everton. It was an early cross into the box, and it was a great-headed finish. They've pulled one back. Well, the post got in the way. Well, Palace have just raised the tempo here, and that should have put them in front. It's a good game now. He read the situation defensively and did his job. Well, apologies to Alex for having to interrupt her. Just to confirm, Everton did score in that match, and they hold the Aces presently, leading 2-1. And a friendly reminder that we have more action from the Premier League coming up. It's Chelsea versus Luton Town. Klein Lerma what a powerful effort but just wide and a substitution in the offing well as you can see this has been a fairly open contest chances at both ends plenty of good attack in play and it's been really entertaining just cutting off the supply 
Well, that's really strong play to keep hold of the ball. Right, quickly over to Alex Scott, because I believe there's been a goal at Goodison. It's another goal for Everton. They now lead 3-2 with 74 minutes played. Alex with the info as ever. Hughes. Out of play then, and a Palace throw-in forthcoming. Will he play it in? We're racing away here. Hughes. Can he make it count? And a goal it is to put them in front again. No less than they deserve. Well, just look how he holds off the defender. He keeps his balance and he still hits the target. What a good goal that is. What a big moment in the dying embers. Will it prove decisive here? And a friendly reminder that we have more action from the Premier League coming up. It's Crystal Palace facing Brentford. Time is against Chelsea, but they can still battle back. Fantastic work to thwart the danger. Sterling. Well, the fans want to see a shot. A goal! Sheer excitement! Level again here! Well, here it is again. He hits this so sweetly, doesn't he? That's a brilliant goal from a top-class player. And level again here. This has been quite the roller coaster ride. Good weight on that pass. And given the situation, a goal at this stage might well turn out to be a winner. Kukureya. Sterling. Nkunku has it. Back to Sterling. What a textbook interception. A really good pass. Sloppy in possession from Palace. The referee has decided that two additional minutes are in order. Sterling. Will Hughes. Likes to run with the ball at his feet. Trying his luck. And with that, the referee brings this contest to an end. All square here in what was a thoroughly compelling game. Stuart, your analysis. Well, it could have gone either way. I thought both teams were very positive, though, going hammer and tongs from the very start. And I think the draw is probably the fair result.